what do you do when you're trapped in a place that has grown and become bloated and you got middle management in there and they're not listening? Um, other, other than to leave. You don't want to leave. Hey, this is tough times and finding a job is a tough thing to try and go out and do. Um, we have several departments in Boulder County that are trying to work things up from the bottom and we're trying to put pressure on the commissioners down from the top. When we introduced this lien legislation into the state of Colorado to make the state of Colorado lean, the county commissioners passed the resolution endorsing it. So we're going back and taking the same bill and crossing off state of Colorado and putting in Boulder County and handing it back to them and saying, okay, you liked it for the state, how about the county? Right? So we're trying to get the commissioners to buy in. And they're, they're semi-receptive. But you're right, it takes a lot of time because we're trying to change the culture to get it to come down from the top. And one of the ways you do it is you do projects and they save money. Um, one of the things I didn't say was over the last three years, the Boulder County Treasurer's Office has not asked for a penny increase in budget. And last December, we gave $17,000 back to the county at the end of the year. Most departments play the game. Has anybody ever been on a place that plays this game? In December, you spend all your money. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We don't play that game anymore. We give it back to the county. The lady from budget thinks we're from the devil. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to supposed to do with this? <laughs> this was appropriated for last year. We're going, we don't care. Take the money. <laughs> All right. You got to work on it. You got to spread it. You got to show places where it's working. You show places where it's working and say, why aren't we doing this? And if you start looking online, and I, we've got, um, I've got a whole bunch of web, you know, places for you to go to start finding examples like Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Minneapolis, and uh, Erie County, New York, and you can see what they're doing. <coughs> yeah. But if, if, if middle management management is just trapped, is entrenched there, the employees can't really do anything because... Now you no start making you the say. anonymous calls to Channel 9. They're on step now. Yeah. All right, other questions? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I think your technique presentation was wonderful, and there's all kinds of insights in there, and efficiency being your goal, I thought you addressed it just close to perfect. But in all uh, systems, and especially a public system, there's more to it than just efficiency. What are the actual goals of the system? Because you've got two or three different kinds of things. Um, one is there is an ideological sector of our society that wants to destroy it no matter what. And it doesn't matter. The point is to get a foothold, not it, uh, saving money is not the point, but it, it becomes a public you know, game. Uh, let me give you an example of two, two just opposite. One, Lenin in the, uh, at, uh, during the Civil War uh, in Russia said that uh, Taylorism plus electrification will consolidate the revolution. Well, Taylorism, you know, was like when I was working on the docks in Chicago and you see somebody with a stopwatch and a tape measure right. and a clip in, you know your job is under threat. Mm -hmm. So that's one piece. Um, on, on the flip side, at the post office in Chicago in about 1977, they brought in this Japanese program, QWL, Quality of Working Life, but they had a totally different game plan. Japan used it to retain harmony in the workplace and, and efficiency. The post stuff it used at, at, to justify and create speed up regardless of consequences, including injuries, dissension, riots, all kinds of stuff, and to create a spine network by the quality circles uh, to where you could, you know, they could attack more people. So you had totally different goals with the same process. And of course, with, with negative, you know, horrible goals, ours basically fell apart, whereas Japan used it for centuries. So yep. just where that's, does it go to? You yep. know? Well, that's the culture change Yeah, we're talking about. And you, and you got to stick with it, and you got to prove that you're, you're really standing by your guns when you're saying this is what we're up to. Yeah. So. 
Anything else? All righty. Thank you so much. A pleasure.